we can start lifting and penetrating uh, this point of control, you're going to see this profile turn green. And hopefully, we can get something off here. And I'm going to be tracking this. You can see where the point of control and the VWAP are. A good chunk of volume here, so getting a stop on the other side is good. So from there, we need we need to be at about 76. May not happen, so <laughs> see what happens if we can lift up off of this. If we start heading down, obviously, I'm still interested in the 47.30 area. Ah, but this has just been really slow dog days of summer going on right now. And of course, our VWAP up here right at this transition. So happy to take a short from there unless we can find a long up to it. Okay, look for the profile to jump. There it is. It's going green. Let's get on a buy here. All right, pop down and pick us up. Come on. So see how the profile turned green? You can see these are red. There we go, hip and no fill. And it's shifting back to neutral as we dip back in. So one of the new features of the NT8 build, uh, very, very dynamic uh, profiles that really give us instant feedback. Come on, let's get a fill. Oh. All right, we are filled long at 77, finally filled on a trade. And we're looking for this to get propped up and trade all the way up to 48. Um, really, we want to go up to 48.05. So um, I'm going to get my stop off one tick here because I can easily make my target come out a little bit. I don't see any major roadblocks there. And then that will allow me to take this one up here, come up a little bit more, and then right in front of that transition there, maybe one tick down. And why don't we go out wider? We'll just see if we can make it happen. So six tick initial stop, 12 tick initial target, and then uh, we've got other places to play here. So. You can see the, the prior transition. It may be that this holds. If we can, all we do is get to the first one, that's perfectly fine. But we want to see if we can't uh, carry this all the way up to the top of this, of, of this range. Now, if we can penetrate the volume weighted average price, even better. But um, <laughs> we're going to need some, some gas here. And that's one thing we haven't seen much of today. Is the market really moving? So. We'll keep our uh, focus on 89 for the time being. Okay, profile shifting green. You can see as we lift up, uh, you see that dynamic profile really working. And uh, very excited about this, this new uh, NT8 version of OFA. Okay, buyers trying to poke their head out here. Let's see if they can get on top of this and give us a, uh, a buying profile. A little shift with a point of control. Wow, sellers really trying to transition off of this, and um, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to be inside, you know, with a stop inside of the last low. Uh, the profile's changed a little bit. I mean, I'm. I think I can grab an extra tick on my stop. Um, you know, with any luck, it'll it'll just start to run. But I, I can at least move this up to 72. And uh, if we can get some action above this new point of control, that sure would be great. Okay, buyers come in. We get up, up above the point of control, up above the profile. Profile goes green. Let's see if we can hold it, pick off the uh, 89 here. Oh, sellers hold that pretty hard at 85. Let's see if they can drive through. Ah, dropped right back in. Buster now at 83, 82. Okay, so we're still holding the point of control for the time being. We made a shot up, did not follow through. 
uh, dribbled back down into the 78, 79, and just barely holding this up. I mean, it's uh, uh, the entire structure of the profile has changed considerably since we bought. So uh, still have our stop in a logical place. I would, you know, obviously love to have it below uh, b below this kind of triple bottom, but uh, Buying from the middle of the range, that's not something that uh, <laughs> that you can really control. And let's just see if we can get the buyers back interested. There we go. Buyers come back. Still not enough to punch through 85. Okay, trying again. Let's see if we can get there. Now we should have a hell of a transition if we can break this 85, but it is... Uh, putting up a fight and you can see up above uh, my third target here uh, I just need to get keep it in front of the volume weighted average price if for some reason we just spend forever down here and the VWAP starts moving down closer to this 96 uh, I'll just uh, trade places with it okay let's see if we can go come on and lift up Wow hey there we go hit 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 Come on, fill it. All right, so we get that one. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring my stop up to the volume weighted average price, just one tick behind, which means that we're uh, now uh, two ticks of profit on our trailing. And uh, here's the last transition. Now, I put my target up here because uh, two reasons. One, it doesn't make any sense to have a target here and a target a couple of ticks behind it. Um, so this is at least, this makes this a little bit better than three to one if we can get it. And, uh, and of course, where we ought to be trading to is the top of the range. So it's just a question of whether or not the last time we traded up here, this was a very uh, hard and fast transition. Looks like we're holding it again. Uh, so we may not get that extra piece of the puzzle, uh, but uh, I'm hoping that we can retest the original transition and not, not just this last one. Uh, and... Uh, We'll just see how it goes, but can't lose on the trade. And at least got, um, let's see, I think that was 12 ticks. So by 336, uh, so we got 360 in the bank. And uh, if we can just play this out a little bit higher, uh, that might be enough for a August, late August dog days of summer day, um, particularly given the time. We're about 12 minutes till the top of the hour, almost 10 a.m. Sellers trying to transition off of this uh, this last turn up here. We're just a couple of ticks away from the second target. Trying to keep enough space between targets to at least justify another multiple. So if we were at 2 to 1, 96 is a little bit better than 3 to 1. So we may not get to it, but uh, I don't see any reason to start dragging in targets. In other words, you feel the position's over, you should just close the position. Uh, Going to improve the stop a little bit now. Uh, we'll come up to 81. That'll give us uh, at least four four extra ticks on the remaining three. That's certainly not as uh, good as having this play all the way out into a, a big move up, but better than a sharp stick in the eye. I guess my main concern here is coming back down to this point of control. Are the two extra ticks worth it? Ah, well that would have taken us out from the VWAP. Let's see if that'll hold as a bounce. Bouncing off the point of control so far. Now we've had really sharp moves off of these levels. So here we had a sharp breakdown. Here when we hit it, we had another sharp move down. So obviously a lot of interest there from 90 to 95. Let's see if the buyers can come back in. Okay, well the buyers tried to come back in. Seller's now hitting us down against the point of control again. Another little bounce, maybe we can hold it up. Point of control shifts back down to the middle of the range. Uh, <laughs> I just forgot how bad 
August, late August trading is. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more exciting than this. All right, lifting back up. We're almost back at the two to one level. Hmm. Bouncing right off of that. That may be it. Of course, I've said that about 50 times, so. Okay, it is 10 o'clock, top of the hour. It's not look like a wild uh, influx of anything, but maybe we can get a little extra volume out of this. Okay, buying it up. We're back through the two to one. Let's see if we can get up to 96. Just can't seem to bust it out. There we go. All right, another 19. And uh, let's see if we can ping against this. That's We still really are holding that transition. But let's uh, see if we can get to the to the VWAP here. And then for the, the last target, um, I'll show you why in just a minute, but I want to get this up around 35. Now I'll show you what I'm what I'm doing here. This is the a transition from earlier right here that was basically a double top, and so technically we need to be on 36. So we'll see if that uh, plays out, but obviously that's a long shot at this point in time. Um, we're not quite into a swing, so it's really hard to to jump up and down and say let's go to the VWAP. But the point of control is a little bit behind that. We can at least improve our stop a little. Um, realistically, I'm, I'm just about at the point where I want uh, uh, the rest of this up around 90 on the other side of this. So we'll see what happens here. We're coming into. You can see we just tapped in front of the in front of the CWAP. But um, other than the 2 a.m., I mean, I, I guess we could say that that this is enough of a trend to be focused on it, but I'm, I'm hoping that we bounce off of it and continue up through the volume weighted average price. It's always hard to be a buyer when the market's been in a big decline, but with the multiple shots off of the low here, um, and at least the, the hope for a mean reversion, I didn't see uh, any reason not to give this a shot this morning. Okay, VWAP dropped another tick. Um, there it is. Oh, all right. Finally, we get to the VWAP. Uh, okay, so the only thing that I have left is uh, is this high up here, right? Um, technically, it could even go higher than that, but uh, this is the mean reversion, so we're going to watch and see if this starts to roll over. Got to be a bit protective of this, and there's two things that I can do right here. One, I can just oh, – I'm not on it here. Sorry. I can get this and just bring it over to this last swing and see where uh, where things are falling. What I like about this more than anything else, at least for the short term, we can always go back to it, is that we know there's a key transition right here. I can get to it right there. Um, this is where we went up, held, and punched through. So we shouldn't come deeper than that. Uh, so for our last contract, we can probably get right behind uh, that volume and sit on about 93. Now, based on the fact that we had so much of a struggle to get through all this, could be that this is where we come down to. But I don't, I don't want to give up any more than that. If we can, uh, if we start trading through a transition off of the VWAP, uh, you know, mean reversion sometimes will turn into another shot across the range. So. Uh, could be a further breakdown. We're just going to see if this will hold here at uh, 96 and move back up. And if not, that's the end of the trade. That'll be just fine. Uh, got the majority of our targets, and we just have this one that's kind of out there for uh, a what-if scenario. And it is driving it. Ah. All right, well, stop picked up, but that's going to be a hell of a lot better than I expected the day to turn out. So 980 uh, off of um, a transition low here, which is basically a, a, you could call it a quad bottom or a, or a triple bottom. 
uh, but we have the low here from 6 a.m. where we made a low, then pre-tested it and came up. Then we came back down, made a new, a little bit lower low and transitioned up off of it. Where did we transition to? The prior kind of breakdown, right? Then we tested it, well, one, two, three, basically four, five more times. Um, the The entry to this trade, and this is really one of the neat things that we've added uh, with um, uh, with NT8, uh, is is how the the profile really tells a, a tick by tick story. So um, when we're when we are here, uh, you can see that it's looking like this is going to be a breakdown. So there's a trans there's a push down, a transition back up, and a transition back down. And and as this turns back up into it. Um, the profile changes, see how it becomes neutral. And um, and really, if you wanted to think about it in terms of a um, of what a transition profile would look like, it would look more like this. Let me get that over one. So here's the move down. This was the sellers trying to break down, the buyers coming back. And then uh, it's not gonna go neutral for us, but in, in real time, this turned neutral, turned blue until we broke out here. So we were back inside the profile holding at the, the point of control indicating that uh, really it was fairly neutral. And then it was this acceleration out that put us into the trade here. So buying up against the edge of, of the, uh, the buying profile and, uh, and being able to use this cluster of trade here to put a, a small stop behind that. So then going up and picking up the, the two to one, a little bit better than three to one. And um, let's see, by the time we were up at uh, from 77 up to 04, uh, we're talking about uh, uh, 27, 27 ticks up, I believe, unless I can't count anymore. And um, uh, so 27 being uh, off of a multiple of five, uh, uh, you know, quite a bit, quite a bit better then uh well not quite a bit but a little bit better than four to one right so uh or five i guess five to one yeah so um uh, 27 gained on five risked so not a bad little gig um took a while to get anything going this morning no question about it it's the dog days of summer and uh dog days of summer are never fun to trade uh, but um it was worth hanging out for that whole thing and where did we trade to right where we assumed we would up into the uh, volume weighted average price and it also happened to be a, a transition from earlier in the morning so all in all range bound and tried to trade it as though it was a swing but if you notice uh, there's a good lesson in here for all of you that um, uh, when we're in a range one of the most uh, key levels that you're going to find is the point of control and had i just used the volume weighted average price treating this like a swing high or a swing up I would have been stopped out here and instead I moved my stop below the point of control for the range, which is what this represents over here. And, uh, and that saved me and, and uh, kept the trade going after the two to one target. So a uh, little lesson in there. And uh, I don't know, hopefully you guys are excited about the, uh, the NT8 version. We should have a beta out in uh, relatively soon, a week or two, something like that. Still working through a few kinks and trying to get uh, some of the other pieces working, but the main, I believe the main structure of it is working well, uh, so I'm happy to be trading it. So excellent trading day. Uh, glad to be back at it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.